he was such an angel. Actually, because he came, he came to me at the time of need, at my very lowest moment, when I needed someone by my side, he was always there. He offered a shoulder for me to lean on. He only, he was always there to dry my tears. He was such a good guy, the kind of man I'd like to spend the rest of my life with, because he was the ideal man for me. I felt a thing for him after a while, and I thought, why, why not give it a shot? Why not try? Because he had everything a woman could ask for in a man. And then, this one day, when I had I had gone to his place to spend some time with him. We, we, we were there, we had fun, we watched movies, then alcohol, kiasi, and then some weed. And oh, we were so, so drunk. Then things went down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, things happened and then some few weeks later I got sick went to the hospital and then I was told I was diagnosed with STIs and then I was told that I was pregnant I was pregnant I'm pregnant <laughs> I'm pregnant with the, with the man that ever since that day we never talked <laughs> We, we lost that. He just disappeared out of thin air. I looked for him, tried to call him, get in touch with him, text him, but nothing. And there I was thinking that I was in love. I was. And then I thought, maybe this was the man for me like for the rest of my life. And now this, it was a shock. Here I am with STIs and pregnant with a baby. <laughs> I cannot say that I'm heartbroken because he hasn't called it off. And at least he left a part of me, a part of him in me, his baby. I'm gonna keep the baby, yeah. But how do I even, <clears throat> how do I even approach my parents? How do I tell them that I am pregnant and I'm also infected with the STIs and the man responsible for all this is nowhere to be seen, nowhere to be found. Like, how do I even start? <laughs> I can't. I think I'll just, okay, I'll keep the baby because, yeah, the baby, uh, the baby is so innocent. He has nothing to do with this. I'll just keep the baby and then yeah, I'll disappear because I don't want to see my parents. I don't want to see my parents feel like they've lost. No, I don't. I just, no, 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 no. I'll just keep the baby and then disappear and go and live my life elsewhere. That's what I'm going to do. But I wish I'd meet you someday. I wish I'd meet you, tell you how much I still love you and show you the product of our love, the affection, and the, the moments we shared. Yeah, that's my wish, that's my greatest wish, and I hope it's gonna happen someday. Galaxy.